You joined me here with my Rivian R1T, uh, and this week I went online and purchased something that I had been eyeing for a little while. Uh, the fine folks at EV Sportline make what they consider to be aero covers for the spokes of the 20 inch all-terrain wheels that come with the Rivian. And so I wanted to find out was, hey, can adding these covers help with efficiency on the truck? And so today we're gonna do a efficiency test similar to the last one we did with my Nitto Rich, Rich tires there. Uh, funny, a lot of you said I said Nitto incorrectly a few different times or different ways. Uh, it is what it is. But uh, anyways, so we're going to go ahead and put this back on the truck. I'm going to show you how these look. We're going to take a little walk around the truck before we head out. We'll gather some stats and then we'll come back at the end and see, did we actually increase our range and our efficiency or is this just a gimmick? And so you join me here with my Rivian R1T. These are what the spoke covers look like. Um, if some of you recall, in the early 2019 uh, Rivian R1T prototype, they actually offered uh, a, a demo of the vehicle with this wheel with carbon fiber inserts. Now, the folks at EV Sportline decided that carbon fiber would be too expensive to make, so they decided to opt in with plastic. So. I'm gonna show you how these work, but you come approach the wheel. These snap in super duper easy. Go ahead and place them right there, bump it in, and that's it, you're done. Super duper easy to take out. You just pop the back and they come out just like that. Okay. That's what they look like. I decided to opt in for the satin black. They do also make a satin gray that matches the rim of the wheel. So you can opt for that if you like. Here's what they look like. You get 20 of them, five for each wheel. They come with a really nice bag, so you can store them in if you like. But they look phenomenal. So let's go ahead and jump in the truck. We'll get going and see if they truly do add efficiency to the truck. Okay, we're in the truck here now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit reset trip so we can reset our efficiency and our trip B. We'll use this to measure uh, how much efficiency we get with this. As you can see, I have the AC set to 70. It's a little hot out there already before noon here, but it's going to be great. We're going to have a good time here. And uh, we'll take our trip, which is about 45 miles round trip. Looking at the range meter here, 199 miles, 69%. Right now we're set to all purpose, but we'll make sure to change it to conserve mode. And here we go. All right, we're here at the stoplight at the halfway point of our trip. 2.2 miles per kilowatt hour is what we're averaging, which is an improvement over 2.16, which is what we got the last time we did this trip before I installed the aero covers. Um, we're also doing a little bit better on energy. I just wanted to share that I did mention previously that I had switched it over to conserve mode, which is what we're doing the test in. So as you can see there, we have 193 miles on the range meter 61%. So the next stop will be when we return back to our final destination and I'll share the overall stats with everyone and take a peek at how we did and if it was worth buying these aero covers for the 20 inch wheels. Okay, we are back at our destination where we began, as you can see, 2.24 miles per kilowatt hour. We use a total of 19.7 kilowatt hours in total for this trip. In comparison to our previous trip we did without the aero covers, where we averaged one or 2.13 miles per kilowatt and used 2.1 kilowatt hours of battery. So as you can see, definitely a slight improvement. Uh, I think it was worth it. Um, and I'm a fan of being able to get a higher efficiency on the truck with the 20 inch all-terrain wheels. Love to see the green efficiency chart over here above 2.2 uh, 2 miles per kilowatt. 53% battery, 169 miles left on the chart. Let's step outside and I'll gather my thoughts. 2.24 miles per kilowatt is what I got with the aero covers on my 20 inch all-terrain wheels. And of course, this is just one test. There's many variables that you know go into this. Wind, uh, speed, uh, I mean, weather, everything like that. I try to be you know uh, as neutral as possible when recording these, you know, 
it, there's so many variables. And so do I think they're worth it? Absolutely. I like the way they look. I think they're worth the price. Um, you know, EV Sportline sells them. They're 249 bucks. You can get them on their website. Again, two different colors, black or gray. And uh, if you do ever lose one, they do even sell separate ones. So you can buy individual ones for 19 bucks. And so I definitely do think they're worth checking out. Uh, if you're someone who's looking to get a new Rivian soon um, or has a Rivian and you didn't opt in for the 21 inch um, road tires that have the aero covers on them um, and you wanted something a little bit more aggressive and you went for the 20 inch, this is a great compromise to help you with that. Um, so yeah, definitely check them out. Um, I'll leave a link and description in the comments or in the bio below so you can check out. Um, as always, if you like the video, please like and subscribe, thumbs up the video, ring the bell to get notifications when we release new videos. And uh, as usual, thank you for supporting the channel and uh, keep adventuring on.